everyone, I came across something absolutely incredible and I am so excited to share this awesome secret. Here's a picture of me taken, believe it or not, just three weeks ago. That's right, look at me now. It's unbelievable, I know. No weave, no tracks, no extensions. See, can you see my scalp? Can you see it? I did try a weave once and let me tell you something. I no longer laugh at those girls in America's Next Top Model when they whine and cry because it is excruciating. I'm never doing that again. So I wanted to find a natural way to grow my hair. So here's what I've been doing for the past three weeks and how you too can have long, luxurious hair. So every morning, start with a generous amount of fertilizer. Buy this at any home improvement store. I just pulled mine directly from the lawn. And then I put a lot of water in there because I really want it to soak in. And also, I hope to drown any little critters that might be crawling around like that little guy. Yeah, sorry, gotta drown you. He can't crawl on my scalp because that's ew. Touching it with my hands would just be ew. So I use a spoon to put it on my head. Scoop and apply. Rub in. Really get that in all over your scalp. Oh, so relaxing. Ooh. Yes, really rub it in good all in there. Use as much as possible. And don't worry, this is not going to add too much time to your daily routine, you know, making you all late for school or work or anything. Just rub it in for a few minutes and voila! Now you would be done right here, but I've discovered there are two more quick and easy steps to this process. The one problem with using fertilizer on yourself is that it really smells. You don't want to walk around smelling like doo-doo because Ew. Your average everyday bath and body works great. It's not gonna do the job. So, you need something highly concentrated and oil-based. I like Glade plugins. So go ahead, open it up, and just, you know, sprinkle directly, it comes right out. Oh yeah. Mm. You're gonna need the whole thing. Sprinkle vigorously. Ooh. Ah, morning dew. Mixes so well with the smell of uh, the natural aroma. And step three, of course, we gotta touch up this mess. You can't walk around with brown stuff on your forehead, especially being that this brown stuff is boo-boo. And being that it's boo-boo, your average everyday cleanser is not gonna cut it. We need bleach. But make sure it is safe on colors. Very important, because bleach is whitening, and even white people don't want actual white skin, because that would just be weird, and you don't wanna be weird. So make sure you use color safe bleach when removing fertilizer from your face. <coughs> Tastes like crap. Whitening bleach is dangerous too because if you get it in your eye, let me tell you, I made that mistake once and it burnt like hell. Burnt all the color off my eyeball. I was walking around with a cue ball in my head. It took like three days for the color to come back. It was horrible. I was looking crazy. And I don't like looking crazy because I'm not crazy. Sorry, bad memory. So anyways, I learned to use color safe bleach because at least if it gets in your eye, it's not gonna remove all the color. But you still wanna be very careful not to get this stuff in your eye either because that's not what it's made for. So just stick to using it on your skin. Clean, all done. There you have it, Jay Tracy's three steps to gorgeous hair. You could have it too. For more laughs, inspiration, and other great stuff, Make sure you check out my channel. Watch the stuff that interests you, skip the stuff that don't, and share the stuff you love. And that includes this video. If you enjoyed it, spread the happy. Peace and many blessings to you. Mwah. Dislike, smish like.